Hello Space Engineers, Wellington6012 here, welcome back to Aries Colony, how is everybody today? I hope you're good. So, uh, today is the last episode of Aries Colony. Uh, that may be a little bit of a surprise to some people, although it's been, it's been coming, it's been coming. And uh, I did put a post out earlier in the week that said that this would be the last one. Um, yeah, so we'll get into things and I'll give you a bit of an explanation why I've come to the decision that I've come to. Uh, yeah, so we're also up here at my uh, hidden laser cannon thing inside a volcano, just like any any good evil genius should have. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think we're going to use this. I can't imagine any orcs coming swinging goodbye. It, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. They're, I haven't seen any orcs for ages, so yeah, we'll just we'll just forget about them. I don't think they're going to arrive. Uh, right, so yeah, I've done a couple of things off camera between episodes, uh, but um, yeah, today we are heading to Pertum, which I think is is that planet there, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, because I keep thinking it's a um, space station, because <laughs> the atmosphere on Pertum kind of looks like, at distance, a uh, safe zone. But um, no, that's Pertum. So that's that's where we're going. We'll be using the, uh, what do they call themselves? The uh, industrial, industrial opportunists, I think. Hang on. Oh, see, they, they own this. <laughs> um, can I get into the rest of this? Oh, lots have gone out because the solar panel must have kicked in. Um, sorry, getting sidetracked here. Look how laggy it is to get into this. Always takes forever to jump into that. Uh, Royal Drillers. Okay, well that's not right. That's not who, who we're going to see. Um, anyway, uh, yes, so we will be taking this ship and we will be heading off to Pertum. I haven't got any great plans for some huge great cinematic is i mean i'll do something as, as we leave but um yeah I, I i don't have any big transitional thing that i had between high festus prime and aries colony um it will just be a pretty straightforward um uh, we'll, we'll just be starting the new series so uh yeah what what else what else what else so we'll, we'll just sort of head down here I think um, for no apparent reason um, yeah so I've decided to pull the pin on Aries Colony I was doing a bit of an intro the other day and I was sort of struggling to get it done in time and I've got a busy week next week so I was also sort of planning ahead to certain things and I was just saying oh I'm just not really fitting things in and uh, yeah and then I thought, what do I actually still have to do here? And there's some bits and pieces to do. Like, uh, I was thinking about putting somebody, I'm, I'm putting up my, my sort of hands as speech marks, somebody, I can't remember who, in the comments said that, uh, suggested that I should put in like a bit of a control center down here, kind of for this and sort of cargo stuff which I haven't done um, put a crane in or, or drones but drones just aren't a happening thing with hydrogen only um, put a crane in I think it was David suggested putting a crane in and uh, sort of just move some stuff just to get a bit of you know life in the place which I wanted to do and I haven't done uh, there was also the control center for the hydrogen area and some extra engines, which I've actually got the engines turned on on this, I think. Uh, which I haven't done. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, it's just uh, the main things that I wanted to do on Aries Colony, the likes of the, the dome, the mountain inside, um, the pipeline, all this sort of stuff, I have done. So everything that I really wanted to achieve on Aries Colony, I've achieved. And uh, yeah, so if uh, if we were to continue, what would we actually be building? What would we get out of it? Would it be worth the effort right at the tail end? 
uh, of of the series because it is regardless of any decisions I make it, it it is coming to its natural conclusion but the other thing is I've spoken about it numerous times the game Ares Colony the game save is broken you don't see it you don't see it now while I'm playing but it's causing me all sorts of troubles in the background and it's only since I've been playing special delivery and sort of starting again with um with a with what is not a small save because there's there is actually a lot of stuff that I've built and used on um, special delivery yeah it's not an entirely small save and it is just going flawless and things that I thought were computer bugs are not happening and uh and I figured out what's sort of going wrong here or not what's going wrong but when it goes wrong and what I can do to prevent it and uh yeah it's just shown me use doing the special delivery and the um what's the other thing i've been doing the uh industrial overhaul um stream that uh yes it's definitely the Ares colony game uh which is just so big it must be just beyond the block count of what space engineers can handle causes troubles so uh with all that said i decided well actually Let's just make this the last episode and head off. Um, off to Purdom. So, yes, it's been fun. So, it's not that I'm demotivated or anything like that. Uh, there's just, um, you know, I'm not throwing in a towel or anything like that. It's just, I've made the decision. It's now time to move on. So... Uh, yeah, let's have a bit of a walk around and then we'll do some stuff before we go because there are some things I want to finish off before I leave. And uh, yeah, and then hopefully, again, got my fingers up, you can't see it because I'm not turning any webcams on, just to be absolutely clear. Got my fingers up doing the old, you know, speech marky things because uh, somebody might turn up later and we'll see what happens. Uh, right, so I'm just actually now thinking, why is there a gap here? What's missing? <laughs> Um, so we've got the fighter, got the orbiter. Oh, it's the heavy lifter. That's right. Okay, and that's, that's over there. Um, hmm. Right, so uh, these vehicles. Uh, yeah, I mean, this hangar has been quite cool. I do... So today I'm just going to have a little bit of a base tour, uh, like I did on the 50th episode, and just, just talk through some uh, opportunities, regrets, uh, successes, all that sort of stuff. I mean, I'm happy with everything. I mean, those those smokestacks again somebody suggested that in the comments i mean just you know i do try and respond to every comment and i do try to take on board what people suggest sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it's not uh appropriate it's probably the wrong word but sometimes it's not right for this base but then i try and put it at other things or for things i want to do in the future so yeah that that was somebody's suggestion uh Energy low. There's been other things that were other people's suggestions, and yeah. So I always appreciate the comments, and if I don't act on them at the time, I do listen. Try not to ignore them, and yeah. So the I, when I came into Aries Colony, I never intended to have like a, a theme, but we've ended up with a theme. <laughs> so they're all. They're all very much uh, of the same the same flavour. And yeah, this this was the first one, wasn't it? The Mars Explorer. Yeah, of course, because I built this over at the um, over over yonder, uh, that trading post that we started off at. And it has just been awesome. This vehicle has just been it's just always performed it may have rolled over once or twice when I've risk, um, found the Mars rover but um, you know it's it's just been an absolute dream to drive across this um, Martian environment it's gone over holes and into canyons and up steep terrain and stuff it's just you know even dragging a trailer it's never really struggled as such so that has been an absolute win and i would say you know if i've got top five vehicles out of all of my series 
this is going to be my definitely top rover. And then we've got the, the space version, the orbiter version of it, which flies like a brick. <laughs> yes, in my, in my top five, this is not in the top five. I think the, uh, what was it, the captain's yacht on... No, not the captain's yacht, the one that followed it that's very similar to the captain's yacht of Hyphestus Prime. It was on the, the Never Surrender playthrough and I did the, was I think it was just called an Orbiter or something, wasn't it? And uh, yeah, that, that was just, even though I don't have the aerodynamic mod, that glided, absolutely glided. This, to quote Space, bleh, try that again, to quote some Space Shuttle pilots, it flies like a brick. Yeah, so, and then these other things were just sort of special, you know, fit for purpose for whatever they were. So anywho, so that was an absolute success, and uh, yeah, it's just been such a cool vehicle, and I just, I like the look of it, you know, so much so that I repeated it, you know, six or seven times. Um, yeah, so this has just been an absolute win, and I'm not the only one that likes it. If you remember, uh, I think it's Uncle Jay, he has on his channel uh, adapted it, and had a, had a good old look at the, the range of them. And yeah, he's he's got some of his, some of his own versions. So certainly, uh, go over and check out Uncle Jay's channel. Uh, he's quite a regular commenter, so I'm sure you'll find a link there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, this I mean it was a good start down here, and it just really set the tone for the base. You know, with the the carved out. It's just a shame that this wasn't actually a bit closer. I think in hindsight, I built the, the what do you call that dome <laughs> a bit far away, a bit far away. So, um, yeah, but uh, it all went well. Regrets, I regret turning on the asteroids. Not asteroids, meteors. Need the asteroids. The meteors. Um, that was a mistake. And I won't say daily needs was a mistake, but um, it wasn't really much. Let's actually go in and have a look at it. It was just something to try, and I'm glad I tried it, and I don't think I'll be using it again. Certainly not daily mods. There is another one called um, Eat, Drink, and Survive or something, something like that. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting more out of these things, like visually, but, you know, you, you just about need to have a whole, like, a whole lot of them and do a whole farming thing or something, but in all reality, there's only me. You know, it would be a diff bit different if you were trying to make stuff for an army, which is an idea I do have for a scenario later on. Um, I have many scenarios up, up my sleeve. Um, that maybe maybe there's some sort of challenge where you need to build, build a ship, uh, build a base that can support a crew, and that crew would be designated, so you might have... Uh, 100 infantry which require barracks bunks one bathroom for every five infantry so you'd need 20 bathrooms that sort of thing and then you might need some officers mess and that sort of so you know just actually having like it's all kind of imaginary but actually having having a crew that you know you, you you're kind of um you're kind of building to order so yes i'm a general i need a ship i need a base this is who will be manning it can you please have it ready for when they turn up you know so yeah so i was, I was thinking thinking about that um but yeah daily needs or well, i think part of the problem is it's just the whole conveyor system and them you know not really grabbing the right stuff at the right time you can't just you had to micromanage it and I just couldn't be bothered and then then on top of that it was only recently had I known this and I'm sure I tried this when I like episode two um that I knew you couldn't drink clan because I definitely tried that episode two I did not realize that you could buy the stuff as well I did not realize and I've got like um I've got lots of money <laughs> you know I've got 10 million credits I can I can buy that sort of stuff 
So had I known that, it just kind of makes all this absolutely irrelevant because you can just buy it. You can just buy it, which I don't know if that's a change or what the story is, but, and that's, where did that go? Did I eat it already? Maybe, I, let's just try to get a couple. Yeah, I'm eating it, that's why. Yeah, so, you know, it's just, uh, I wouldn't say misstepped, at the, let me try that again. I wouldn't say a missed step or a regret as such. You know, we have to try these things. Um, but in saying that, you know, this whole thing has been a learning thing. And I learned from this, like for instance, industrial overhaul, to actually give it a try first. And now that I've tried industrial overhaul, because that was very much on the cards for being on Pertum. Now I've used it, it's not going on Pertum. So yeah. But anyway, 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 anyway. How about the dome though? I mean, this was what it was all about. If you look at the playlist for Aries Colony, the thumbnails are very intentional. And they were all orange, brown, barren, uh, rusty, empty, cold thumbnails up until I think it was episode 30 ish when they suddenly turned green and yeah this I mean this was the first area I did and is still my favorite area I mean I this is the med bay that I come back to on oh, hey that's another one just again talking about learning stuff med bays having lots of them is just a win you know I, I in Hyphestus Prime I think I only had one or two the whole time and uh, yeah just actually putting them where I need them is just an absolute win um but yeah this space is just i love this space with the chairs and the yeah this whole area is is awesome in the in the path through to the you know underneath i mean you know if if you're not looking outside you wouldn't realize it's mars mm. so yeah these trees, uh, I can't remember the name of the mod, but that was super awesome. I am considering actually trying to make a mod myself because I've adapted that mod for it to work. And I don't want to copy it or duplicate it. Duplicate it. I want to figure it out for myself how to do it because, you know, I just used that mod to come up with what I needed. Um, but yeah, I am keen on actually producing a mod which would then... I can share so then i could publish aries colony which i'm not going to publish aries colony it's just too big it won't work uh but yeah i've got some future endeavors which it would be great to have trees available and as i say the mod that i use is adapted it doesn't have these trees in it and when i have to reload the game for whatever reason i have to reload the trees and do stuff and it would be good if i had that in a mod form that i could just yeah so but i need to learn how to do mods it's the same with no boulders which i think there is a mod for now actually but no boulders and also the again a future series future scenario in fact the sequel to far from home i'm thinking planet earth there will be no all patches that there will there will be ores but they'll be where I want them to be so as I say lots of thoughts ideas to come and yeah I think I'm gonna have to start making some mods that work for me yeah uh, right so that's that how about we go in here now this is where potentially I was gonna do some stuff today uh, oh yeah we'll go this way So with Aries Colony and just, you know, pulling the pin on it, one of the things is, oh hang on, just let's sort this out while I see it. Uh, one of the things is, oh gosh, work fingers. The, it's taken me a lot to get through the episodes and you would have seen at the start there was sort of a few more cinematics and that sort of thing and it was the same with High Festus Prime. You know, not every episode but they sort of became a bit more few and far between 
on Aries Colony and it's just just the time factor why does that not have any grass woods grass that should have grass it doesn't have grass what's going on here let's just go somewhere where we can oh no so that's working hmm I wonder why there's no grass there that's a bit strange must be a reason for it which escapes me <sighs> what was I saying? Yes, the the thing with Aries Colony is that, and again, it's not a motivation thing. It's just the physical size of it, which is what I wanted. You know, I always said right from the start, I was pushing the limits. Um, but that's that's been sort of uh, I wouldn't say problems, but met the reasons for some of the decisions I've made and has sort of driven some of the episodes and and yeah lack of lack of things where it'd be nice to have a cinematic or a time lapse or something like that and I just you know I've already spent four five six hours on a on a half hour episode you know and um, those cinematics you know sometimes they take like today's intro has taken several hours just for 90 seconds but I like doing that sort of stuff and I haven't really been able to do it with Aries Colony because uh, in certain aspects of it because just the sheer scale of it yeah so I don't think Purdom's going to be like that Purdom will have a lot of blocks but it will be different it won't be as spread out as Aries Colony um, yeah, but then it it's not a regret. That was always the way that Aries Colony was going to be. The, you know, I mean, when I first started building the dome, I said it was going to be big, because you know when it was empty, it looked like it was like just ginormous, and it was. But then as soon as you start to put these trees in, that are like, I don't know, that they must be 15, 20 blocks high. You know, suddenly it's not big. You know, suddenly you're getting up to the top of here and you're actually like, oh, that's actually poking out of the roof. <laughs> so, you know, and even even this this little little room up here is actually it's as big as the what was the base on oh the Sirius Orbital Platform. It's bigger than that, you know. Um, I mean that's that's getting up to the size of the chocolate fish. <laughs> you know, and that's yeah. So scale, scale is a thing. Scale is a thing. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what I was going to do was just in here. Um, yeah, I, I just. I think, I think, I think, I think even who we got. Yeah, we got creative mode turned on. I'm just going to use creative mode to deal with this stuff. You're gone. We'll sort you out later. Uh, yeah, so these are all required. So I think I'll just cover that up maybe. That might be the way to go. Um, yeah, I never really had super ideas for what was going to go in, inside the mountain. <laughs> um, hmm. And... I mean, as you can see, this is all unfinished. This was open. It was all going to link up, but... Yeah, I know the game save is on its last legs. It's uh, I'm running out of, basically, I'm limited on how many blocks I think I've got left. You know, there is a block limit, which I have turned off. And uh, clearly there is actually a, a physical block limit as well. And yeah, we reached that. So some of the things that I've done to resolve that, uh, just so we are uh, open and transparent... Um, the base that's over at the uranium, not the uranium, the magnesium mine that's over wherever it is, over that direction, uh, that's been deleted. So I got a nice big load of uh, magnesium and silicon and nickel, so we've got plenty of that stuff. Uh, plus getting that orcs um, base, you know, that gave me more than, more than I needed of everything. Um, so that's been deleted. That no longer is is there. So we won't be visiting that today because that's just a big hole in the ground. And the asteroid base and the 
uh, Europa, everything that's up in space is a separate save. So when I when I fly from you um, from from the asteroid base back down to the planet, um, when I leave the asteroid base, I blueprint, I stop and I blueprint the Thetis or whatever I'm flying, and in its in its state and name that that name it like Thetis episode eighty four, and then I load up the planet save and I go back to the the asteroid base location which is just an empty asteroid and I with a big hole in it <laughs> and I um I paste the paste the blueprint so that's that's how I transition so it's kind of um so one of the problems is, is that even though I might be away from here for for several days uh, it is only like minutes <laughs> and so it doesn't have a time to recharge the base which is another thing that's been problematic um, the the base is actually turned off I it was Future Wellington that did it I'm going to blame Future Wellington um, it was when I set up OBS shortcuts and I accidentally set them up with a Y and then Future Wellington uh, paused paused OBS, but in doing so, Future Wellington pressed the Y button, and uh, yeah, and the base turned off. But I didn't realise it still just kept going. And then when all the vehicles that were attached to the base finally went flat, which didn't take long, uh, then I realised what had happened, and I had to turn the batteries back on. But in doing so. I turned all the vehicles off and now all the vehicles are actually off and unless you have their batteries turned on to auto they they power down so when you put them on recharge they don't actually recharge their power down completely so yeah it's it's and I, I don't know how to fix it <laughs> I don't know whether it's a bug or just Future Wellington needs to turn them back on, but um, yeah. So, so all those all those vehicles that were on recharge, they're actually turned off. That's the only way you can read. Yeah, it's it's a bit strange, but anyway. So just again another one of these headaches that's that's coming through into the game. And I know I've been waffling for ages, but this this is sorry people, this is how it's going to be today. Um, so I'm just going to cover this up, and yeah, so. The, I was actually going to just talk about the orcs, but we might come back to them later because, as I say, we might have an appearance. Uh, right. So, yeah, a whole lot of things that just sort of didn't really happen the way I expected them to happen, but eh, that's the way it is. Right, so I think that's going to do. We've covered up all the sort of bits there. And uh, yeah, so that that's that's all good. But I mean, even that, you can just see how long doing the voxels takes takes a huge amount of time. This is a nice space. This is a very nice space. It's a shame we weren't in here more. Uh, what I actually wanted to do, because I remember I left this bit empty. What I wanted to do, hang on, I'll just show you actually. Uh, and I might do this somewhere else, like on an asteroid base at some stage. But I don't know when that would be. Um, projector. Well, actually, I could just use a table. So I was going to have a table here, a table here, and a table there. And what I wanted to do was potentially use small grid. Or... Yeah, large grid might work. Actually, no, I'll do it. I'll do it here because then we can undo it. Uh, let's just go like that. Uh, to a projector. We'll do a window. So if we go like. 
inverted. Like that, like that, like that, like that. Oh, look, there's some thunder coming. And yeah, I was I was thinking a projector table. But ideally, I'd actually want to have a glass shell over it. But then, anyway, yeah, I'll, I won't I won't go into detail because I'm not doing it. But that was going to go in there. And then what I wanted to do was like get the voxel hands like that, and we'll just get some like alien stuff, alien rock grass. So these could be like specimen storage. I mean, yeah, you'd almost want to use the um, those new captains things. I just can't actually. Just try and get that closer to me. Now it's too close. So that I was sort of thinking along those lines. So they've got a specimen. And yeah, as I say, in actual fact, you would probably use, what was it, the Wasteland? No, it's the most recent update, isn't it? Which is... Which was... Oh, we're going to window blocks. That's these ones here. All those ones. These ones. Half window. Potentially they would be better actually. Go like that. Anyway, you get the drift. You get the drift. So like a little isolation type thing. So that would have been cool, but anyway. That's not what I did. We will do that. We'll have, have some sort of research laboratory. At some point. Uh, it's just done. Cool. So yeah. Good space in here. I mean, these these lights have really worked quite well. Uh, the lift's already up there, so we won't use that. Oh, that thunder is getting close. Yeah, so I, th I think I'm just going to leave this. Uh, you know, I could put some more walkways in and stuff, but, I mean, what would we get out of it? So, yep. Right. Um, this is quite a substantial... That took a lot of engineering. I mean, this thing here took me about six hours to build. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, and that was that was a half hour episode. So that just gives you an idea of, of the effort that I've gone to with this. So I've filled up this with a bit more stuff. Uh, and, and as I was doing it, as I was doing it, I was like, you know what I should have done? And I'm not doing it now. I did actually briefly try. Is that I should have had like a big tree you know one of the one of those not one of those one of um one of those trees up here so like an arboretum up here as well and you could just yeah have stuff around the edge but um again those those trees are quite big because if if we stuck one down here in the middle let's actually just do it and i'll show you what i mean it's certainly becoming a day of what ifs That one. And see, we haven't even got the big trees in here. <laughs> we, we never used the big tree. That would have been like the tree out of the Hobbit. I can't place it. Why can't I place it? No, oh, because it's just going through stuff. But uh, yeah, so that that was sort of you know I thought one of those would have actually fit in here. I just don't know if we can quite see it. No, we can't. But yeah, I think that would have actually worked out quite well. But oh, well, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, in recent weeks, having the Mars rover, I mean, that was an awesome little adventure getting that, and that just works so well here. And uh, yeah, and thanks to Nutzel for suggesting doing these, because I think they just, just give a nice little little look to the place as well. And uh, also, I have published the, the Unknown Signal thing, and also done a guide on it, so... Uh, yeah, so it's filled up the space a little bit, but it's still relatively empty. But uh, yeah, again, we are um, past that point, so there's a storm coming. Now I have depressurized this, but uh, my oxygen tanks are full. 
so yeah that's why it's still got air in here but it is actually depressurized well no sorry i've turned it to depressurize it's not depressurized because there's no air for the oxygen to go so when i do this i'm not worried that i've lost all that air out of there because what i want to do is i do want to finish this off so we might turn this weather off i will go out put this in friends mode and get me old mate future wellington to come join us and uh, yeah, I might just do a bit of a time lapse, and I'm not going to do anything special, I just want to, I think, finish this, just with some rock, so it'll just be voxel work, I think, but I'll need to make this airtight, by rejigging these, yeah, so um, yeah, I'll go get my old mate to watch, and uh, yeah, we'll do a bit of a speed up thing, and then um, we'll see how things go, some other friends might turn up. Stand by. Okay, uh, welcome to the uh, the entertainment room. It's quite an awesome space down here. It's a shame I didn't sort of spend more time down here. But uh, is what it is. Right, so I wanted to show you... Oh, I've got to do something first, and then I'll show you something. Well, actually, I'll show you something first, which is this area here. I got rid of that access. I just thought there was no point having it. Because we've got an out just right here, so that would be fine. Uh, and here we are. Uh, actually, no, before we do that, we'll go up here and we'll just adjust this. And I'll just get me old mate Future Wellington. No, I won't. I'll go this camera here. But there is my friend Future Wellington. Wave Future Wellington. Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll just put him in there. Uh, my word, that's, that's a long way up. It doesn't look that far up from Future Wellington's camera. Saying that, he can't reach. So let's just go in. So, yes, we could very well have visitors. So uh, I thought we'll get Future Wellington to have a camera as well. Uh, right, so can we? How do we do this? If we do that and then go to that, we keep it up. Yes, we do. 
All right, and there is an orc. So we'll just increase the size of this to protect that. Very good. And so there. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, where's yeah, okay, so fly boss carrier. Uh, right. What I need to do is I need to blacklist the fly boss carrier. We'll turn you off. Um, yes. Stand by a sec. Okay, so if I do that, so there's a whole lot of terms that you can use. And then maybe if I... I've never done this before. I don't know how it works. Flyboss Carrier. Because that's how it's... What's well, updated. So what if I did... Um, a broomstick. <laughs> it updates as well. So I don't actually know whether... Hmm. Whether that's worked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's, that's what it says it is. So I guess we just have to wait for something else. We will actually just get rid of you, I think. I don't think there's anything we really need to see inside this. It's quite a big ship full of stuff well, let's just link to it lots of missile launches is that a um, did I just spot a I thought I saw a remote control facing downwards but um, yeah got all sorts of stuff there's an antenna in there, that's problematic. I wonder what's got two of those. Hmm. Oh well, would have been uh, interesting to take one of these on, but um, yeah. The, I think I did once and gave up because they were. Uh, that's quite an interesting little module thing on the side. Uh, I think I fired some stuff at it and it just sort of almost bounced off. <laughs> <laughs> and then it started running away so yeah I don't know how you take on one of these I guess you just need to have some pretty serious artillery and do it from a distance hmm not too sure anywho let's get rid of you because you're just taking up space All right, so that's that, that's that. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's go and have a look outside at uh, what I did. So here we go. Nice uh, meadow through here. We've got the nice little foresty type area. And we can go down here, a little bit bumpy. It's quite hard to get the grass right. But um, yeah, well, we can get down. I don't know if we can get back up. Oh, we can get back up. But anyway, uh, oh, I don't know what I need to do. I need to pressurize. Oh, I need to get those off of there. Um, so timer pressurize on trigger. Now that should fill up. Marvelous. Yeah, so there we go. That's um I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, I mean, that entrance, if I had an entrance here, I just, I don't know what value it would give. Uh, maybe if it was earlier on, maybe if I had something specific I was going to put out here, but I just, I really like this. Really, really like this. How does it look from down here? So there's our lookout with our waterfall. And, uh, yeah, this down here, that was at the old double unknown signal future Wellington's just went off but I mean this this is an awesome space it, it really is I mean if you're gonna live on Mars 
it would be pretty hard to beat this place. It really would. Uh, oh yeah, there's water. So we've got swimming pool on top. All the comforts of home. Yeah, it's it's come up so well. It really has. This one regret is that I didn't actually finish this earlier because it would have been great to have the time to enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just down here, it's just super, super awesome. All right, well, I guess we've got to wait for um, a shootabout or something or other to come. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're just not going to get fly bosses. Otherwise, I might need to do a copy paste type thing from space or something. I do have some blueprints, but I think they're in my ownership. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how things go. So, um, I'll come back when uh, when something else turns up. Oh, filling up with oxygen, that's good. Good morning. It is the next day. So I ended last night with a lot of frustration at trying to get the orcs to work uh, and then decided, no, we'll go to bed. So uh, yeah, it's been numerous hours trying to get them to spawn. Uh, they just would not cooperate. I could get the flyboss carriers to come. You know, I tried some of the uh, chat commands, that sort of thing that should have worked, didn't. Uh, I even tried changing some of the files to like add other types of orc ship to the uh, to the group that spawns the flyboss carrier, so that you know, so that if it spawned a flyboss carrier, it should spawn those other ones. But it didn't. So yes, it's been very frustrating. I've had lockups, I've had corrupt files as well, and all sorts of bad things. But we're back again today with a fresh set of eyes and I think I think I've got it kind of sorted now but even then that's not perfect um right so first of all let's let's turn on the defenses and see even that's not working listen it's out of sync that's just I don't know what's what's causing that I haven't even bothered to look um safe zone so you're on but you're not actually enabled which is annoying i wish it just kept it setting i really do uh okay so that should start up okay so that's fine right let's go into here so i spent a bit of time on europa in a previous game save where uh, the orcs were spawning quite regularly and I managed to get some blueprints but even then they don't actually work because a lot of them they tend to sort of not crash just very slowly drift to the ground uh, let's go oh that's not what I wanted I wanted to do that okay so let's put you over here somewhere yeah, we'll put you over the top of the mine. Well, as you can see, there's no mine there. It's just a hole in the ground. And we'll get a bit of altitude because it does drop. And then... And then we'll get future Wellington to jump in. Just that Let's try and link up oh hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on that's not right i know what i haven't done keep original ownership try it now okay there we go oh it's going the wrong way but it's not. Oh no, so there goes the script. <laughs> oh, it's plummeting. It's probably more apt. Okay. Let's go back into here. And grab a seat. And turn an antenna on. Or turn on the big dish, eh? And we'll boost that out. 
Uh, five kilometers away. Oh, yeah, see me, see me. Come on, just try and get future Wellington camera in place. I think that'll be for future Wellington. Right, let's take control of the railgun. Where's the railgun? That's not the railgun. Maybe that one. Okay. Oh, don't need those crosshairs anymore. Let's just quickly fix that. Uh, rail and it'll be an LCD. Yes, there it is. Okay, try again. Okay. Oh, missiles. Okay, let's just fly this and. Let's go into, oh gosh, oh the, the safe zone's off, what, what, oh I know why, I know why, I know why, it'll be the, um... it'll be the, uh, the, the recharging. Come on, safe zone, kick back in. Bad, 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 bad. Safe zone. 54 seconds. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's going to be out of range. And you're not spinning. You're not working. Oh, that's gone bad. Um, go back into the railgun I think actually that artillery was not turned up was it okay safe zone is still not on okay let's not fire the railguns let's just concentrate on the artillery Oh, safe zone's back. Safe zone's back. Ugh. Okay. Um. Okay, that's... that's... Watch this, that horrible noise. Okay, I know what that'll be. Okay, 
It's still making a horrible noise. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, oh, my antenna. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go outside. We could have just gone out through the big hole that was in the roof. <laughs> think about it. Okay. So you're just hanging there, but you're. Ugh. Okay. Is there something we can take control of? Why wasn't this one working? I think we're just going to have to go up and deal with it. It's just... Oh, unless I can... Nah, there'll be... It's just hanging in the wrong place. It really is. It's just out of range of everything. Big hole there, I didn't need to go through the airlock. <laughs> Not why I grabbed all that, but anyway. Still staying up though, with not many thrusters. Surely that's got to bring it down now. Oh, yes it does. Ow. Gosh. <laughs> oh, loud noises. Very loud. Very, very loud. So they are dealing with that. Yeah, it's... These orcs are, um, you know, I put them in to give a little bit of a challenge, but um, they haven't eventuated the way that I intended. Where's my body? Let's go grab it. So that I can maybe get rid of some of these guns. Ow. Ah, silly thing. Yeah, they're just the orcs never really eventuated. Um, see, even though it's been a little bit of a calamity with this um, But I think that was actually because my safe zone the it must have been the recharge on the rail guns. So we needed more power production. I think it's going to shoot at me because there's no other targets on the side, so that's a bit annoying. Um, okay, let's go down here. We'll just try to get control of... So you should be... It's hard to know. Meters. Yeah, see, that should be shooting. Let's just go and check out this one again. Because that's definitely in range. Oh, laggy, laggy. Oh, I don't actually need to worry about fuel because I'm in creative mode. 
Why are you not working? This is, uh... Oh, that's the railgun. Let me try that one. Because you're not working. Okay, uh, so this is number three, isn't it? the controller. Am I just missing it? Oh, there is. Some of the Hinge rotor. Not working. Did I not fix this one? Fuel critical. Maybe I didn't fix it. No, it's up the right way. I don't understand. Uh I don't get it. As I say, this the orcs really haven't worked out the way I sort of envisaged. Even though I've kind of been uh, had some damage here, I don't think it's anything that I couldn't overcome uh, and repair. And the loot that I got out of that would get out of that ship is substantial. Um, I'm going to turn the base defenses off actually I can do it put all these buttons in around the place we should really use them uh, which I don't see one right now okay let's just let's try and take out some of these turrets hopefully they get distracted oh, it's just slowly slowly eating away at it <laughs> Oh, ow. Ah, silly thing. Right, I'm giving up on this. Had enough. Um, yeah, it's... It's just, uh... So what we'll do... Is we'll turn off the base defences. Oh, surely there's a button somewhere. See, I just didn't really have any base defence buttons. Okay, so we'll just... Turn that off. And uh, I'll just depower. I think I'll depower it. Um, why are the guns still on? Should, oh, hang on, maybe we've got a break in the, um, we must have a break in the, in the line here somewhere. Yeah, there we go, there we go, that's the problem. Try that again. I was wondering why it wasn't working. That always was a, um... That always was a thing. There we go. That's better. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, as much as there's a bit of damage, that's because the safe zone sort of failed. Oh, 
there's another new hole there. Hmm. Um, yeah, it, it is what it is. And yeah, I just feel like I would spend all that time fixing it, getting all this stuff out of it, would repair it, and we'd have more stuff than we could even need. Um, the, the large grid adversaries was just not the way to go. And I don't know what I'm going to do on Pertum or Special Delivery, but I think it's going to be more a, um, a, a if if I put something in, it'll be more like a small grid type setup. Uh, it's just hard to get the um, hard to get the balance right between a challenge and just this. I mean, this is not oh the poor ship. Um, this is not really uh, what I envisaged. You know, this is kind of, this is almost a tower defense type of game, which, given how often the orcs spawn, is not really, yeah, it's just not right. Because, you know, even with all these guns and stuff firing, and I could have put more guns in that were a bit more fail safe, I think these custom turrets are not all they cracked up to be, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's almost you want to do a tower defense thing and uh set up and and try and try and protect your protect your base but uh anyway um so yeah i think that's the last we'll see of the orcs well actually maybe not but uh yeah i think as far as gameplay goes i can't see the orcs making a return or the reavers for that matter well, uh, may maybe that is a scenario that I do that, that go for like the Reavers or something like that. And actually that is the scenario to obliterate the Reavers. But um, yeah, you, you only want them actually spawning once every, you know, 100 hours or something. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Uh, oh, well, we tried it. This is all repairable. It looks pretty bad, but it's all repairable. I mean, these only got blown up because they weren't sort of put inside before we started um i wonder what that's from oh that must be from the orc um given the approach was also wrong it it just happened to come in from a side that was relatively unprotected um but yeah fundamentally i don't think there's anything that's too that's too bad that we couldn't couldn't repair couldn't fix even just using a um a projection yeah uh, is that not working anymore? That seems to be... Oh no, I turned it off, that's why. Yeah, and those rail guns just didn't really happen. Just the recharge time on them makes them pretty impractical. Uh, yeah, I think probably artillery might have been the way to go. Because that recharge, that's what caused us our problems. Hmm. Anywho, right... There's Triton. I'm going to, I think, reload because, yeah, let's let's reload and uh, head off and say goodbye. Well, I'm going to have to reload because this isn't working. <laughs> uh, right, back soon. Okay, so here we are, back where we started. I guess, uh, I guess maybe those orcs was all just a dream or a nightmare. Because things seem to be okay now. Hmm. I would say that's what happened. Right. Let's head out here. And I think I think we're going to call it a day. I think we're going to call it an episode. And I think we're going to call it a series. So yeah. It's been. It's been an awesome. What's that? 11 months. And yeah. I've really enjoyed Ares Colony. It's uh. I've achieved everything that I set out to achieve and it's just really really come out super awesome fantastic <laughs> but it is time to head to Pertum so which is just over there uh yeah I mean 11 months uh 89 episodes each was about sort of 35 45 minutes something like that so that's probably we're getting 70 80 hours maybe 60 not sure uh but yeah sort of 70 odd hours of episode um 
it's taken me a lot to produce those. Aries Colony has just been pretty full on. I mean, it's just massive. That's why. And uh, Hyphestus Prime, I mean, you know, I was, I was playing gameplay. I was getting sort of two hours to get a half hour episode. It's been more like three or four hours average for Aries Colony. Some episodes, you know, building the Thetis, I mean, that was probably about 12 hours work. <laughs> you know, it's just, which ended up being one episode, I think. Um, so yeah, just an immense amount of time I've sunk into, into building this. Well worth it though. I mean, just look at the outcome. Here we have just a, an absolute green lush biome on Mars. You know, it's just come out better than I could have ever imagined. And uh, yeah, so I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve. And as I say, now it's time to move on. So yeah, let's let's head off. Um, you know, it's been so awesome that everybody's been able to join me on this journey, and uh, all the comments, all the positive feedback, the likes, the subs, all those sorts of things are all greatly appreciated. And you know, that's why I do this why i came up with the youtube channel is that i can put all the time and effort into building things like this and then they get uploaded to the big cloud and get enjoyed and they're not forgotten you know it's uh th th this is why i started youtube because i was building stuff like this other games as well you know spend many many hours of work on something only just to one day decide that we're not going to open up that game safe we're going to move on to something else and it just goes into that oblivion where old game saves go um but no it's uh shared on youtube for posterity and uh yeah i'm just so glad that everybody uh enjoys watching it but uh, as i say the time has come for us to leave Aries colony and uh yeah it's um time to head off to a new challenge to pertum and yeah that should be should be next week fingers crossed i've actually got a busy week outside of space engineers so i don't want to promise it's going to be next week but it should be next week and uh yeah so with that as always thank you everybody for watching i do hope you did enjoy today's episode and that you enjoyed this second series of uh of my uh, what do we call it? It's narrative? Story? Not sure. Uh, which will continue in the same vein on... Uh, uh, what do we call it? Pertum? <laughs> and yeah. I would say though Pertum will probably be the third and final installment of this particular storyline. I can't see it going into a fourth installment. But we'll cross that bridge. That's probably a while away. So yes... Once again, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you can join me again next time when we will visit the industrial opportunists and uh, go from there. So until next time, as always, stay safe out there everybody and have a good one.